prime my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And um, the palette that I'm going to be using today, I showed it in my outfit of the day. It's just um, a 8 shadow palette by Maybelline. It's called Expert Wear Eyeshadow, and this is the Hushed Tint. Um, I think I'm pointing to it. <laughs> yeah. Just some really, really nice colors um, that honestly I feel like you can pull off in just about any season. So I'm just going to prime my lids. And, and blend it out with my finger. Okay, so the first color I'm going to take is just this, let me open it, <laughs> just this little um, beige color at the bottom. I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and pack that onto my lid. And now I'm just going to highlight my inner corner with this white color. And I'm going to use that same brush and just kind of tap it in to my inner corner. Okay, so now I'm going to take another brush, and this is just an angled brush. And the brushes I'm using, they're by Sephora. It's the um, antibacterial brush set. So I'm just going to grab this peach color up here, and I'm going to put that into my crease. and just kind of blend it upwards so it doesn't look too harsh. Okay, so for this look, the brow highlight is completely optional. Um, I usually put a brow highlight, but I'm, I'm just going to skip it today. Um, and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega, Mega Liner. And this is like a plum shade. It might look a different color on the camera, but it's actually plum. So I'm just going to line my top lids with this purple liner. The only bad thing about this liner is you really have to work with it because it's kind of sheer. So sometimes you have to put more than one coat.
Okay, so now I'm just going to apply some mascara. And I'm going to use the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. And this is just the black mascara. Okay, so while I'm letting this coat dry, I'm just going to bronze, bronze my face with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer, and this is the 741A Princess. I'm just going to grab this really big brush um, by EcoTools and just kind of buff it into my skin. And I do use a lot of bronzer, I know. Okay, so now I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply another coat of mascara. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply a lip color, and um, I'm just going to use my Moisture Renew and Comfortable Nude, and it's kind of my go-to thing nowadays. Okay, so with my hair, um, depending on what I did with it the day before, the night before, or whatever, um, like this messy hair, honestly, sometimes I would just like let it do what it wants, but um, you can also just do something really quick like a braid, and if you don't know how to French braid, you can easily get away with something like this. You just grab the front pieces of your hair and braid it into a normal braid and just braid it as long as you can or until it starts looking really frayed and weird and then just pull that back and bobby pin it and it totally looks presentable <laughs> So, um, sometimes I do both sides, sometimes I do one side, um, just depends on how I'm feeling or depends on which way I part my hair or whatever. Um, and I just spray a little bit of hairspray. The hairspray that I've been using lately is the Suave Touchable Finish Hairspray. So I'll just spray my braid down and just kind of the rest of my hair so yeah but that's basically what I do when I need to get ready really quick um, and yeah that's all I do and so if you'd like to kind of spice up this look if you're going somewhere after class or after work or maybe you just want to amp it up a little bit more for every day a good way to switch it up is using a dark shade like this plum purple and I just put that in the corners of my eyes and blended it a little bit into the crease 
and I just used a little applicator for that. You can completely do that with, like with your fingers. It's really that easy. Um, and I added black liner to my lower um, waterline, and then I put a darker lip color. And this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Lollipop, and I have that on my lips. Um, another one that I really like is the Revlon Just Bitten, and this is a lip stain. A lot of people have mixed reviews on this, but I think people would like this a lot better if they took better care of their lips, I could say. Um, I didn't like it when my lips were kind of chapped and, I don't know, disgusting, but when I consistently scrub my lips and my lips are healthy, um, I do like the stain. It actually applies really well and the color is very even and yeah, I really like it and it's very long wearing as well. So everything I use in this look is from the drugstore, very affordable things. Um, this palette was actually $6.50 at Walmart, so I would definitely pick that up. It's really, really pretty, and there's so many different looks you can create with all of these different colors. Um, and the pigmentation is quite nice as well. So, yeah, so that is my first back to school look and I will be doing a few more with this palette and a few other drugstore palettes so um, if you are just trying out makeup for the first time or um, you just want to add some makeup into your routine you never really wore it every day um, this is definitely a nice way to start wearing makeup just starting with really simple looks so um, if you'd like to see more looks like this Please subscribe, um, comment below, let me know what looks you'd like to see, and um, I will see you guys in the next video.